Hey, so I wanted to talk about something super important that I think gets uh, overlooked a lot. And this is simply that when you run your Instagram page, you need to reply to every single fucking comment. I don't give a shit. You can reply with an emoji, you can reply with a my man, you can reply with a looking good or a slow down if you appreciate Rick and Morty. But you need to reply to every single comment because that's how you optimize yourself in the algorithm. By the same token, if you are out there um, having an instantaneous reply to every DM, that's also going to boost you in the algorithm because uh, Instagram is going to see you're an active user. And if you're an active user, you're going to grow uh, and they're going to be incentivized to push you forward. If you're not an active user, if you just throw stuff up without hashtags and don't play by the rules, it's going to be a lot harder for you to get the kind of uh, brand growth that I think you're looking for. Just a thought. Hey, so just real fast, something that got me 80 followers in the last like week and a half. This is simple. I've talked about this before, but I want to double down on it. Choose 10 hashtags relevant to you, and then all you need to do is find 10 posts in top, like when you search them on Instagram, and leave a meaningful comment, four words or greater, uh, 10 meaningful comments in each hashtag, 100 comments a day. It radically boosts your visibility. In the algorithm itself, when Instagram sees you're interacting, they, put, they boost you in other people's feeds. Um, when you comment on strangers' feeds, they go check you out, you know, so you get follows that way. This is just the best way to radically erase your whole thing. Like, my bacon sits were flailing, or were flagging, rather, and I hadn't been doing this for a minute, so I went back to doing it, and suddenly, boom, right back off. This is just the number one thing you can do. Ten hashtags, ten comments on each hashtag, and reply to everyone who replies to you. Simple as that. Hey, so I just got back from Florida. I want to tackle a kind of granular um, idea that people have sort of been asking about because a lot of people will use 30 Instagram hashtags per post and then complain that they're not getting anywhere with it. And I did some research and essentially you can get shadow banned if you fuck up this way, right? So if you're using the same 30 hashtags every post for like 20 posts in a row, people are just going to stop seeing your posts. You're going to basically get blocked in the algorithm and it's going to take you a month to come back. It's the same part of the same reason why like if you follow people and then unfollow them unless they follow you back, again, you're going to get bumped down in the algorithm. And so Instagram has kind of developed a lot of ways that you have to play by the rules if you want to grow, which is part of why I think it's important to have a diverse set of content, you know, because if you're only posting the same flyer every day, like same, or even if it's like the same flyer with different color backgrounds, like it'll pick up on that. It'll think you're doing spam, you know, you have to look at what bots are doing and avoid doing that even if you're a human and avoid spamming the same hashtag. Last one inspired by my friend Hyena Records. Uh, what he brought up that's really important is that if you're a band, it's always good to follow your fans because that makes your fans feel cool. Being in a band is a cool thing, and if you follow your fans, they feel like you're directly interacting with them, even if you're not commenting, though you should be commenting. You should try to comment on everything in your fucking feed. I know that's a lot of work. But seriously, the fan interaction aspect, the fan interaction potential you have on social media, especially to interact with someone in bumfuck nowhere who might never come to a show, is insane. And if you don't take advantage of that, you're really shooting yourself in the foot, right? Because at the end of the day, we all just want to be closer to our heroes. And if you can do that by following everyone who follows you back, that's going to optimize your, you know, your presence, the people interested in you, and sort of the team looking to back you and looking, you know, to become super fans and end up spending hundreds of dollars on you in the long run, which is really, I think, what the focus should be for any band trying to grow in 2018. Just a thought for you. Party on. Hey, Matt Bacon here doing a Bacon Spit on the uh, Sledge Lord page. And what I wanted to talk about something Sledge Lord does really well that I think you as artists kind of need to think about, which is just that, or even as enjoyers of this music, is that Instagram accounts are the new blogs, right? Because if you're a blogger, you know, and you're trying to bring attention to bands, we well, want to go on the platform that has the most leverage. And right now, the platform that has the most leverage is Instagram. This is something uh, Aaron at Sludge Lord understands very deeply, which is why he's giving you all this great content, right? Is because if you want exposure, this is where you come. And this is where the people who were bloggers three, four years ago, this is where they're coming. That's why I do my videos on this page, on this platform, right? However, the other important thing with Sludge Lord is that they're not married to this, just like they weren't married to previous formats, right? Because formats are kind of ephemeral on the internet. So I'm sure that Aaron, being the smart guy he is, is going to be on the next platform when it starts coming up. Anyway, if this video makes sense to you, if you like it, please follow me at MattBacon666. Thank you so much. Hey, Matt Bacon here, talking on the uh, Heavy Temple Facebook page with a Bacon's bit for you. I wanted to talk real fast about how Heavy Temple, one of the things they do best, better than pretty much any other band in their scene, actually, 
is Instagram stories. Instagram stories are the single most underrated way to promote your band right now. You know, if you are smart about them and you use them effectively and you update them many times a day, you're going to blow up. Look at Heavy Temple. Instagram stories are a key part of their promotional strategy. It doesn't cost them anything. It doesn't even take them any time, really. Like, it takes some time for a story, but it's not like a huge fucking thing you have to plot out. You just throw up shit you enjoy. If you're not using Instagram stories like Heavy Temple, you're fucking up. I tell every band I work with who I'm, who I'm trying to teach about Instagram stories, look at Heavy Temple, because Heavy Temple get it on a level most other bands don't. You know, just a thought. You can ignore me and miss out on a huge promotional opportunity, or you can cash in while it's still hot. If you like this video, please check out more at MattBacon666. Hey, so something I want to kind of talk about that we haven't really gone into detail yet before is um, the importance of Instagram stories. And obviously, you know, they have huge traction, a lot of attention is being directed at them, I think more than you realize. But moreover, the importance of updating them a bunch, right? If you look at the bands who are best at Instagram stories, I'm talking Heavy Temple, High Reaper, Great Electric Quest, all those cats have a, like <clears throat> five, ten Instagram stories a day, especially when they're on the road. Even when they're on downtime, they're doing Instagram stories. Because that's where the attention is. That's what these bands understand, is they're trying to get your attention and they can do that via Instagram stories. This isn't, you know, this isn't easy either, I know, because, like, already it's hard enough to come up with, like, 14 posts for, you know, daily posts on Instagram and Facebook. Like, that sucks. But this is just another thing. But also realize these have a lot more leeway because they disappear in 24 hours, so you can just take fun, dumb pictures and just run them. See when Bacon's been here for a Mosh Pit promo. And what I wanted to talk about that they do that's really cool is because they have a large uh, Instagram following, they actually use that as part of their platform to promote their bands. And in a world where, you know, you're probably going to get more traction getting featured by an influencer or a YouTuber than you are getting featured by a blog, this actually makes a lot of sense as a place for a PR company to put their energy. And I think if you're a band using Mashpit Promo or considering Mashpit Promo, this should be a major selling point for you because they, are, they have a lot of traction where a lot of attention is, right? As a band, your entire goal is to get as many eyeballs on you as possible so people might be interested. Well, Mosh Pit Promo are doing an amazing job of that by having a ton of followers, right? And then using that platform, they don't just have a ton of followers, they use that platform to get the word out to more people. The more you do that, the more you kind of attach yourself to organizations that have followings, the more you're going to see yourself grow because you're just day trading and attention, you know? If you like this video, please check out more on my page at MattBacon666. Thank you so much.